Hello, um, I have just created a new Padlet uh, using my Gmail account to sign up and this is a new Padlet and this is how it looks like. So if you want to add a post, you just click on this pink button here and it shows a window like small window like this. You can give it a title. You can write something here and um, you can upload a picture if you want to. You can um, um, you know, look at um, adding a link, searching from the Padlet uh, for an image. You can uh, actually use Photo Booth from here to take a picture of yourself. And if you click on these three buttons, there are a lot of many options here. Um, you can link another Padlet. You can add a Google Map location. You can doodle. You can record your screen, voice, and uh, many alike. Uh, I suppose I wrote something here. I can also change the color of my posts and um, I can copy my post as well into the same Padlet as well as a different Padlet. Um, now when, as and when this gets populated, you'll see that, um, you know, it kind of appears like this. And this format could be really helpful for students when they're collaborating on something kind of giving you um, like a, kind of writing a reflection for you or kind of answering like a formative question um, answering to a formative question you can like you can comment on this and uh, there are many more options here this is a format or uh, known as the uh, break like format so if you're looking at other formats you might want to go here and check out the rest of them. If you're trying to share content with the students, you might want to use a shelf format, which kind of arranges your uh, content in columns. So you can add a different column here, and you can add a post here, all the same features again. Now, um, if you want to share your Padlet, you want to click here, and you might want to look at this part of the window. You can change your privacy from here. You can have a password. You can make it public and make, make it secret. And look at this option, which is kind of similar to uh, like a Google document where there's view only. Uh, visitors can write or you can give administrative rights to the, uh, the people who are looking at this Padlet. Now, if you are wanting to share this Padlet link, you go over here, copy this link. You can embed it into a Google site if you want students to do that for a Padlet they created. Or you can uh, export the contents of this Padlet through here. Now this guy could be really helpful when you are trying to um, reuse your Padlet. So whatever I have on my Padlet will be exported in, the form of, exported in the form of a PDF. And remember, all the links on this uh, PDF would be live. Well, I didn't have any information, so you don't see much but this is how you can save it, download it, and have all the contents and reuse your Padlet. Now, if you wanna have collaborators on your Padlet, you might wanna add members. So you basically write their email IDs and they will be able to collaborate with you on this Padlet. Um, this was the kind of like the administrative part. Now, if you wanna change the look and feel of this Padlet, you might just wanna click on this toggle you can change the title, description, the looks and feel. Uh, I really like this option because um, this really helps you kind of uh, look at how you want to use this Padlet uh, for the visitors. So do you want comments? Do you don't want comments? Do you want reactions? Do you want like a vote? Or do you want to give, st give stars to this person? Um, or you might want to approve every post that's been uploaded or posted on the Padlet. So this is this window kind of takes care of this and you just hit save so yeah that, this is as simple as that and when you want to remake it just click on this option here and um, um, if you want to enter full screen you go here if you want to clear all your posts go here and that's pretty much it